Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. You must forgive me, I've been um, incognito for a couple of weeks. I've been moving house, so I'm here actually in hotel quarantine in the beautiful Gold Coast in Australia. We've got a bit of a COVID situation going on in Australia, so to move state, which is what I'm currently the person doing, two weeks here. It's a beautiful hotel room with a beautiful view, but we are not allowed to leave this room for two weeks. So time for some guitar, of course, and that's why I've been a bit AWOL, I apologize. Um, just packing up the old house, moving, doing all that stuff. I always forget that you guys are actually watching. I always think I'm just kind of talking to the void when I do these lessons. But um, a few people have reached out and said, hey, where are you? Are you all right? And thank you for thinking of me. Yes, I am all right. Yes, I am back. And yes, I should have said something when I knew I wasn't going to post for a week or two. But we're here at the beautiful Gold Coast. We're going to play some guitar. Uh, the question I've been getting most lately, Picado, Picado technique. I do not claim to be a world leading expert in this technique. I also know that people do it in different ways, but I'm gonna show you how I do it because that's what a few people have asked me to show. Let me play for a second and then let me show you a few things. That's the kind of thing we're gonna, we're gonna kick off with. So the chord, quite an interesting and cool chord. Imagine an A major. But we're also, it's basically a four string bar because we're also playing the F sharp note at the highest string. So it's, it's just the second fret bar for four strings. And then an A. Um, even just that uh, in itself, ignoring for a moment that high note, just that as an A chord. I had been playing guitar for longer than I care to admit before I ever, you know, was exposed to the fact that you can play. You can play the A chord with just a single finger. And then you can get that juicy kind of flamenco stuff going. So that's a bit of a distraction from today, but side note, because I would always play an A like that. But today we're doing that nice bar. Okay. Piccolo is not played with the thumb, but the thumb is usually playing bass string. So it's a very important part of the sound. The, that high kind of singing string is what you guys are asking about but it sounds good because the bass strings are doing stuff so I'm doing an ultra simple packet picking pattern I picked it specifically to be as simple as possible I'm just going on the strings five four three two I did that on purpose not because I think it sounds the best but because it's so simple that I could teach it quickly and effectively but you still get the point you can and should and must make your own picking pattern. So the thumb can do whatever. And as you progress, of course, your thumb will get better and better. But today's example, we're using a very, very simple thumb. Now the thumb part, the actual picking technique, um, people definitely do this with three and four fingers. I do sometimes do it with three, but I think two can get you going for sure. And it can sound beautiful with two fingers. That example I played before was just two fingers. And once you're comfortable with two fingers, you can either come back to me for more, go and find someone who's more focused on that style than me. Or what happened to me is after however long of doing the two finger technique, almost imperceptibly. So now I'm doing two, but eventually my third finger just got involved. I didn't necessarily train my third finger, but after a lot of time, so that's with three fingers. After a lot of time of just training the two, it just kind of awakened. So that's why I'm gonna show you with two, and then you can take it from there. This is a beginner's lesson. When I was a kid at school, we used to like play soccer on the desk, like we'd have a little scratch up piece of paper with the ball, and like this is like running, it's just like your two feet are running, which I wish I could do locked in this hotel room. I'd love to go for a run right now, but I really can't do that. I did a few laps of the uh, room, which is about, you know, eight steps or something. But imagine the little rands running. I have mentioned this on the channel before. And then we're just going to run on that one string. Like everything I teach you guys, the, uh, the paradox and the annoying bit and the irony is that I always teach you to practice it slowly and deliberately. So this kind of thing. Very even strokes. Each finger is as strong as the other finger. The gap between each note is the same. I'm just going to do this a bit quieter. I am going to continue that pattern just while I talk, just to show the kind of deliberate repetitive practice that we do. So 
So really getting those two fingers going. A lot of single note melody stuff. Just like if you're playing with a plectrum, which I often do the alternate picking down, up, down, up. In this case, it's just left, right, left, right. A very strict left, right. And eventually that will get faster. But as I always say, accuracy must come before speed. Uh, speed without accuracy is just messiness and no one's gonna wanna hear you play basically. It's not gonna be fun, it's not gonna be cool. So nice and slow. And then the thing that brings this technique to life is the bass notes. So I'm gonna go back to that bar chord that we're doing and I'm gonna do the at the same time as we get our little fingers running. This is one of those techniques I think it's it's actually harder to play slow now that I've practiced it so much at speed. There's a few inconsistencies here because I'm so used to playing it at a certain tempo, but I'm just trying to show you. So you're almost tickling that high E string, those running man fingers are still going. And of course, we're just playing that simple bass note progression. If it starts to sound cool, fourth note of the high string. Everything stays the same. Sometimes I'm going one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So I'll play a bass note, and then the fingers will go one, two, three, four. Like they'll go, they'll do four, da, 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 da. But the the bass note makes it five. Bass one two three four ba, da, 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 dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 dun, da, 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 da. So that's making patterns of five. Something like that. As I said, I never said I was great at this. Um, I saw a guy the other day playing some classical guitar on YouTube. I Forgive me for not remembering his name. If I find it, I'll put it in the comments. Um, brilliant, brilliant classical guitarist. And he kind of, at the start of his lesson, apologized, was like, oh, my piccolo is really not great. And then he did it so well. So it seems like everyone's a bit, um, none of us are as good as we wish to be at that technique. But what I've just shown you there is basically how I do it, how I think about it on a beginner level. Um, and I'm gonna leave it at that because there's many, many, many hours of practice in what I just showed you there. Well, it definitely took me a hell of a long time. I hope you pick it up a lot quicker than I did, but there's a lot of work to be done there. I thank you for watching. Um, leave me comments, good and bad. I'm happy to hear any kind of reasonable feedback. I welcome very, very much. Since I'm in a good old quarantine here, I'll be posting every day because I have absolutely nothing else to do. That's a lie, I have good stuff to do. And my beautiful wife's here hanging out and there's Netflix and there's guitars and stuff. So there's plenty to do, but I will be posting every day. And I thank you very, very much. Come on Patreon if you want more detail, more advanced stuff and a bit more direct access in terms of requesting lessons and stuff like that. Jump on the Patreon and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.